All right, you are welcome again to introductory mathematical analysis A. We are still in chapter 13, chapter 13. Again, we are still also in chapter 13.1. All right, chapter 13.1, we are dealing with relative extrema. Relative extrema. Okay, in the previous video, we introduced this. And then we have what we call the first derivative test for relative extrema. First derivative test for relative extrema. And the step for that is number one, you must find the derivative. Then number two, you find the critical values of f by equating the derivative to zero or where the derivative does not exist. Where the derivative does not exist. Okay. Now step number three. For each critical value of A at which F is continuous, Determine whether the sign changes. Okay. Determine whether the derivative changes sign at x as s increases through a. And then step number four for critical values a at which f is not continuous. Analyze the situation by using the definition of extrema directly. All right, these are steps. We covered that in the previous video. Please ensure that you watch that to understand better. All right, now we we'll go into another example. Now, this example now, we want to find the relative extrema given this function. What is our first step? Don't forget the first step is to find the derivative. Find the derivative. This is a pro dot rule. We are going to use pro dot rule for this because this function is multiplying this function. So we have s square, then derive this ex plus, derive this 2x, then es. You can derive any one first, because this product rule, and we have addition uh, in between them. So you can derive any one first, all right? Now the second step is to equate this to zero, Okay, which will give us s square e x plus 2x e x equals to 0. All right, factorize e x out. We are going to have s square plus e 2x equals to 0. Okay, this simply means e x equals to 0 or s square plus 2x equals to 0. Okay. All right, so if you pursue this further, we are going to, let's use lean, let's take the lean of both sides, we are going to have this equals to lean of zero. All right, and then you are going to have s equals to, this is undefined, okay, or infinity. So we don't need this one. We don't need this one. So we now go into this, then this is x into x plus two, equals to zero. Then we have x equals to zero or x equals to minus two. Okay. That's the two values of x we have. But let's go to our derivative back and see is there any point where this derivative will not exist? Is there any point where this derivative will not exist? There is no point. So we can conclude, we can conclude that our critical values our critical values are x equals to 0 and x equals to minus 2 or minus 2, 0. Let's take them according to their order, minus 2, 0. Okay, that is our critical values. So we use these critical values now to make intervals, to make intervals, to divide the real line into intervals. So we have negative infinity to negative 2 to negative 2. Okay, so we have negative 2 to 0 and then we have 0 to infinity. All right, that is what we have there. Now we are going to find the value of of, uh, 
of our derivative at each of these intervals to know if it is positive or negative. Okay, let's write our derivative again. Our derivative is this one. That's our derivative. Y prime equals to S square E X plus 2X E X. Okay, that's our derivative. Now, we want to find at each of these points. Pick a point in this interval. Let's pick negative 3. And by the time we put negative 3 into that, into this derivative negative 3 into the derivative negative 3 we are going to get this is positive okay that is positive that shows that the function is increasing there the function is increasing okay we can pick something here we can pick a negative 1 and we put it into the derivative we are going to get negative that shows this is decreasing. So here is what we call relative maximum. Okay, relative maximum at x equals to negative 2. Actually, negative 2 is there. Then this is 0. Okay. Let's pick a point, a point here. Let's pick 1 and put it into the derivative. You get positive to show that this is increasing. So we see this is decreasing. This is increasing. So at this point, we have relative, relative minimum, relative minimum that is at x equals to zero. We have relative minimum. All right. So we have been able to get our relative maximum and relative minimum. And at this interval, minus uh, infinity to minus two f of s is increasing so we can conclude and say this is increasing this is increasing so increasing f is increasing at negative infinity negative 2 and 0 infinity why f is decreasing why f is decreasing at uh, negative zero okay that is it make sure you understand how we got all of that okay that is all what we have done relative maximum at uh, minus two relative minimum at zero okay there are no critical values at which f is not continuous please ensure that you understand uh, what we have done all right thank you